We know Robin Kelly is going to represent the Democrats. Let's bring the political editor Mike Flannery. Mike, your take on the results so far. And someone asked, does it make a difference who represents the Republicans? We'll get to that later. Well, I, I think it does. It's, it's worth uh, just noting, though, that uh, Eric Wallace uh, is correct about the huge impact that uh, New York Mayor Bloomberg had with his independent uh, uh, PAC uh, spending over $2 million. It's working out right now to about $80 a vote that Robin Kelly has gotten. An extraordinary <laughs> amount of money. We've never seen anything quite like like that in, in, in such a short, uh, uh, intense uh, campaign. But uh, joining us now uh, is the front runner, the, the, the current leader in the Illinois Republican primary, Paul McKinley. And uh, Mr. McKinley, I, I have to ask, it's, it's certainly remarkable that, that you're in this position. Uh, you do have six felony convictions. You served 20 years in prison for armed robbery, for aggravated battery, for uh, uh, burglaries. Um, why? do you think that you should go to Congress first with, of that, all, with that record? First of all, I'd like to thank God for blessing me with this golden opportunity to serve him and his people. Second of all, I don't have anything on my record. That is somebody. That is something in your opinion. That's your mind. You're, refer, you're referred to as ex-offender. We heard that in uh, Larry mm -hmm. Yellen's report. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what do you uh, think, what do you feel when you hear that in front of your name all the time? Well, first of all, most of the young men in this society has been labeled either gang member, gang banger. We've all been thrown in the garbage can of society in the city of Chicago by the machine. So whatever label they put on me, it doesn't matter. I'm going to keep on pushing, and I'm going to stand up for the little bitty people who has been trampled on. I this seat belongs to the people. I it doesn't you, belong to the machine. I understand you've even uh, tried to use your background to your advantage, calling yourself the ex-offender to prevent the next offender. Is this is this something that you think um, you know could is saleable well, in the second district? Well, who could who who better than someone? who has lived that life to go out there. Father Flager cannot solve our problem. He doesn't live our life. Who better than those who have lived that lifestyle to go back out there and show them brothers street repentance. Street repentance means to change your life and go back into your neighborhood and get those brothers that was that's on the this crooked path on a path called straight. Have you heard anything from the National Republican Party about uh, supporting whoever wins? I'll probably hear something now. <laughs> well, you know, it, 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 we ought to just go over a couple of quick issues. You oppose President Obama's proposals uh, for uh, an assault weapons ban, for high capacity magazine uh, restrictions, and for a universal background check before uh, guns are purchased. I don't think it will solve the problem. I think our problem is an economic problem. Why is it always when it comes to dealing with black folks, we got the... We got 535, 500 and th 503 murders. And the only way you think you're going to solve our problems with a bunch of no money. But every time somebody else's problem happens, there's a lot of money to solve those problems. Well, yeah. I don't think you're going to solve any of our problems. Which When is there going to be a ban on poverty in our community? Well, you certainly have that. That's the Republicans' line in terms of the uh, gun control issue, and you seem to be in line with that. And we got a few more uh, votes to be counted right now. You're 30 votes in the lead out of me. What? Uh, your opponent has. The winner is likely to get less than a thousand votes. Okay, so not that likely to beat the Democrat, but this is a democracy, and we'll see what happens in the in the, the regular election and who actually ends up uh, winning tonight's primary. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thank for you very much. Coming in tonight. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank you very much.